Hi everybody, I'm here with the AP history teacher, Ms. Porterfield herself, and would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Mrs. Porterfield. I teach what we call APUSH, AP United States History, and it's mostly juniors and seniors. That's it. Now, would you, going into this class, would you consider it a privilege for a lot of students to take this class? I would. A lot of our kids, um, as they're moving through like their ninth and 10th grade year, they're prepping for like those CCP and AP courses. And so I think it is a privilege to have the advantage to take a college level course in high school and be able to walk away from high school with college credits already earned. Right, right. All right, so, so you would say there is like about a lot of prerequisite for this class or? Um, I'd say it's 50-50. Like a lot of our kids, they need to probably have a strong background in writing and reading in order to be successful in the class. Right. And then the other prereq is usually like you have to like history. Like if it's not your thing, then it's not your course basically. Yeah, I'm a big history fan myself. So yeah, this yeah, class is good. usually the clientele, so. All right, all right, so since this is an AP class and a lot of kids that come through the school don't really get a chance to experience this class, would you kind of say it's similar to a college course or? Very similar to a college course. Um, they're introduced to a syllabus right. that explains all the details of the course up front to them. Um, every unit that we cover, they get a day by day like expectation with readings, homework, like all the lists that are there for mm -hmm. them. So in a way, like when you go into college, you're gonna get that syllabus the first week and 18 weeks later, you know exactly what's happening. That's right. how this course will function. Um, and then the other component to it is, is that it has like outside circumstances. So like there's projects, readings, and other responsibilities that like you're kind of in charge of your learning like you would with college. Um, and that's different from like our honors track here. Okay, so well, to spin off of that, would you say there's any major difference from, say, like a regular uh, U.S. history class, like from an AP class? The two big differences that I would note would be like this actually is a combination of like eighth grade and tenth grade together. Okay. And so like you've got to take both of those years and combine it into a more fast paced, rapid course that's going to cover that content more in depth. Um, and then the other big difference is, is that it, because the test requires like 60% of the performance to be reading and writing, mm -hmm. like we actually have more reading and writing focus than we would in like our 10th grade course. So like with my honors kids, usually the emphasis is on like just getting to know the history, whereas at the AP level, it's like taking that history and then projecting it as a historian would study that history. Right. I only have probably about one last question for you. Now, for students that might be transferring or students that might be coming up from the middle school, what would you say or what would you say to them as, lo as well as their parents to make them really consider taking this class? So my big plug for like eighth grade coming into ninth grade is the, the overwhelming plus that you get from having this on your transcript. Right. And so by committing to a track like this early, like you're possibly gonna walk out of here with part of your college paid for, because you can earn up to two free classes essentially for a score on this test. Um, and then the other component is, is like you're saving time and money when you reach that point of college. And so if you can commit to the goals and the objectives, like that's, that's not a, bad thing to pass up like I mean you don't want to pass up free college essentially in high school and so that's essentially the plug that I always have um, and the other piece to it is is it just builds life skills like so right. some of my kids even if they're not quite at the level of performance like earning a C in here is not mm -hmm. the end of the world like you're building the skills that you need to figure out how to navigate college because it sucks to be a freshman in college even 45 minutes away from home mm -hmm. and have nobody to rely on because you don't have the skills that have prepped you for it. So even those that aren't committed to loving history that take it, they take it for the practicality of life skills. So, so those would be my two pushes, yeah. So even though that the, that the course requires a little more out of you, it's not about what it does now is the end game. Correct, it's, it's the, the end, end game. game. And so right. most of the kids, that's the big picture they see at the end. Like it's probably one of their most difficult years, especially if they take it as a junior. But like at the end, that's such a valuable experience for them, college credit or not, mm -hmm. um, when everything pans out, because at least they know that they're gonna be able to succeed when they leave for college. All right. Well, Ms. Porterfield, that's all I really have for you today. And uh, thank you for the opportunity for me to interview you. Awesome, thanks. Thank you.